loves, it's Yaz, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time viewing my channel, hey love, my name is Yasmin. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and click the bell for notifications so you can be alerted every time I upload a new video. So today, as you can see from the title, this is a highly requested video. I feel like this video was probably like the first type of video that I was ever requested to do however i never really got around to it because when i hit this class kind of thing sort of you know getting into works so i was you know going on to the nursing journey or -er -er. i had recently posted a video on instagram telling you guys to send me video requests and i got so many asking about this video and another video which i will be filming soon and yeah so that will be tips to pass amp so I will get right into the video. So if you guys are familiar with my channel, you know that I, um, in all my tip videos, I say to read before class. Now with A&P, that's when I really started reading before class because um, that class is so much. And I know usually I know um, with A&P in different institutions, it's it's ran differently at my school. Um, I believe usually A&P is like A&P 1 and 2 yeah so with my school it's basically in one course and it's within the span of 12 weeks 12 week terms I think so it's basically like a and p one and two or a anatomy one and two in one class so with that being said reading is key um, despite if you are taking it broken apart or together definitely read those chapters beforehand because when you're in class the instructor is there to teach and present it to you however it shouldn't be the first time that you're actually hearing the information so if you read beforehand you'll go into class and you'll be like okay I didn't understand this I didn't really know what this meant but when they explain you're like okay it connects with something that I read before and I feel like with me that's what helped me a lot so with that being said when I was taking anatomy um what I did is I would read the night before and then the night before I would have a notebook um I had a notebook and I would answer those learning objectives in the beginning of each chapter. So like usually, I feel like since we've been in elementary school, we've had um, textbooks that have the learning objectives in the beginning. So hopefully that's, you know, the same across the board. I feel like it should be. But um, yeah, so there's learning objectives in the beginning of each chapter. And basically that's just what, you know, the, the book, whoever made the book or whatever, like corporate or, and stuff like that feel like you should pick out within that chapter. So when you are taking, you know, corporate exams and stuff like that, they're going to pull based around what is important in that chapter. So definitely answer those learning objectives the night before. So you're kind of like, you're, you're reading and you're answering the questions, you're going back looking for those questions. So then you're like, okay, I know the answer to these questions. I may not understand fully how they work or why it's that answer, but I found it in the book. And that will always, that will, that will already be in your brain. So when you're going into the chapter and your um, instructor is teaching it to you, it'll click better and it'll, it'll be smooth a process for you. So that's what I did with the learning objective. So what I would do after that is I read my chapters beforehand. I did my learning objectives the night before. So I try to do that the day or night before if I can, if I have a good weekend, do it, you know, way before we go over the chapter in class. So I can be, you know, a little ahead of the game and have my mind in the right place. So with that being said is I'll go through the chapter with my instructor and then after we do that, I'll do the questions in the back of the chapter. They're usually called wrap up questions or you know chapter review questions. Do those questions because you'll see, um, I know for me, and I feel like this is pretty common across the board as well, is that those questions in the back of the book, I'm not saying that will be your test or anything like that, but you will see similar questions or you might see that same exact question on exam in the future. So know those questions in the back of the book and understand those concepts in the beginning of the book and it'll help a lot, a lot. So the next tip that I would give for a and I feel like is the most important tip because with anatomy are going to have to start changing the way you think. I know since we were younger, we've always pumped and dumped, you know, we learned something for exam and then it's not important to us anymore. But with anatomy, you're going to have to switch over those gears to think of everything as a working unit because anatomy is the body so it's no more you know just one thing everything is a working unit so you have to remember that and you have to remember um 
to learn that way. And I feel like in the beginning of AMP, I kind of was still in those, you know, learning everything separately. But as you read, you kind of see that things are connected. So I was like, wait, so this is connected to this and this is connected to that. And that's when I started writing out my notes and being like, okay, so this goes with this and this goes with this. And it'll make so much sense because now instead of thinking of all these things, like say these are all different things, different parts of your body, and separately you're like oh my gosh list 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 it doesn't make sense you know everything okay this goes with this and you're noticing this goes with this but in reality if you put those together which is part of that critical thinking and how you're changing the way you're learning it'll all go together so it'll be like boom and this deals with this and this deals with this and this deals with, and it'll make more sense to your brain so if you're asked something about this you'll know that underneath it's all under this and it, it all works together learn things like that I remember that was my biggest issue is having to put those pieces together and once I figured that out then it was it was fine for me finally once you switch that over you're fine you will understand things more simpler simpler we don't go with it <laughs> it'll be more simple and you'll you'll just put less stress on yourself definitely a big thing of just working smarter and not harder because it is one unit the body is one big working unit if something goes wrong with the body the rest of the body is there to follow so yeah start doing that critical thinking you know you gotta start taking that extra step and i feel like with amp that's that first step that you gotta take so my next tip for passing a and p would be to use your resources wisely i know a lot of the time we don't really use the things that are presented to us the things that are beneficial to us because we we just don't you know and with a and p or with many of the textbooks that i've noticed is in the beginning of your book usually if you open that front cover there's a little area you can scratch off and you can register that book and within that website you have um you have practice questions that are being pulled from corporate you have you know corporate whoever made that book is giving you those questions that they feel like you should know um they have you know uh qu yeah quizzes questions um puzzles they have video clips to help you understand things and with me all i did 24 7 is practice quizzes practice quizzes practice quizzes practice quizzes and yeah that worked for me but i know there were people who didn't register their book until after around I believe like after midterm going into like our second exam and they asked me they were like you know how are you passing this class because I did pretty well and I know a lot of people were, were struggling and I just told them I just did practice questions they didn't even know that they could register their book and that just goes under the fact that look at your book because if you cracked up in that book to read boo like you would see it and you know maybe you overlooked it or whatever whatever but that's just it just opened that book I know it's it's horrible nobody wants to open that book but open your book and check if you don't have that in your book that you can scratch off and register your book then just do those learning objectives read and all that stuff because generally it's the same thing Take your books honey and you will get blessed more than likely what I would do is each question that I didn't understand I would copy and paste it into you know my laptop or word document and print those all out and those are questions that I would go over before like exams and stuff just so I could make sure that I understood those topics as well simply because I seen that I was weak in those areas. So also with that kind of in the same topic about using your resources, um, there are multiple, multiple books who offer workbooks that coincide with your text. Usually about like $30. However, if this is the class that you know, um, is probably a little you know a little harder you that's a that's a great investment that's that's a great investment if you're able to um because just think about it thirty dollars for a textbook that could supplement your whole you know take on this class versus having to you know retake a class it's it's a i'd rather pay thirty dollars it just depends on you and if you feel like that would be beneficial to you um but definitely um know that that is available to you guys depending on what book you have so definitely do your research on the books that you have so to wrap up this entire video with amp it's just about changing the way you think and completely reciting those terms those words those questions in your head those are super key like you can sit there and study 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 but if your brain's not making those connections 
then um you're gonna probably struggle and i'm not saying that in a bad way because honey i struggle all the time you guys know i'm queen of struggle like you see these edges they barely there that would be my biggest tip for you guys i hope you found this video helpful if you did give me a thumbs up if you have any tips for amp definitely comment them down below because i'm sure someone will benefit from them i'm all about you know helping us all out we are all a family around here okay so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you all enjoyed i'll see you all in my next video bye